From assembling cars to walking on Mars, robots are all around us, and they're doing a lot more than just vacuuming our apartments. Today, robots are a lot smarter, stronger, and more lifelike than ever before, looking like something straight out of your favorite movie or TV show. Even Elon Musk is working on one. People have no idea, this is, this is gonna be bigger than the car. Welcome to Technology. I'm Alex Melky, and we're gonna explore three incredible futuristic robots you won't believe exist today. Let's kick things off with a robot that blends the lines between what it means to be a robot and what it means to be human. Beyomni is the first robotic platform in the world. Think of it like a robot you can step into and take for a ride. Acting as a human pilot, controlling the Beyond Me robot is as easy as sliding on a virtual reality headset and gloves to let you take over from anywhere in the world. The robot itself has all the hand movements of a human and was designed to be able to do all the things that humans can, from grabbing a drill to do house chores to picking up a pinch of salt as it prepares dinner. Beyomni is an extension of the human body, a concept that movies like Real Steel or Pacific Rim have explored in terrifying and incredible ways. Beyomni's creator, Harry Clore, says that someday soon, he'll be dropping off a robot at his mother's place so he can pop in from time to time and make her breakfast, even though he's a thousand miles away. And Harry isn't just keeping Beyomni here on Earth, with plans to send a robot to the moon. What's even more amazing is that the more you use your Beyomni robot, the more it learns to do all the things that you're doing, creating a fusion between your human brain and its artificial intelligence. Imagine being able to step out of a wheelchair into a fully capable robot on the other side of the world and just go about your day. That's literally the plot of the 2009 film Surrogates. That story didn't end too well, resulting in a dystopian future where people became so reliant on their robot bodies that they never went outside without them. It's too early to tell how humanity will be affected by this leap in technology, but one thing is for sure, robots are here to stay. Okay, so we've taken control of a robot, but there are still a lot of people out there who would love nothing more than to hand over all their work to one. Boston Dynamics has been the name in robots for over a decade now. Every time they drop a video showing off their latest update, it goes viral. And while a robot that can do parkour like a human is impressive, Atlas here has nothing on his four-legged brother, Spot. Spot is the first of a new generation of semi-autonomous robots that are controlled by a handheld device that looks like a Nintendo Switch. But they can still do a lot on their own, like walk up a flight of stairs, avoid walls, and dance. Spot can run a full 90 minutes on just one battery, navigate challenging terrain with a 360 degree camera, and carry up to 30 pounds on its back. All this makes for a pretty solid assistant on a construction site and a battlefield. The French army has even begun including Spot in military training scenarios like capturing targets and urban combat. When Boston Dynamics first revealed Spot, the internet didn't waste any time asking if it was the same killer robot from that Black Mirror episode. So far, there doesn't seem to be any murderous rage coming from this little guy, and as far as we can tell, Spot can't tell the difference between a human or a tree. I don't know if that makes me feel better or worse. From robots you can control in VR to four-legged scouts that roam the battlefield, there are tons of real-world applications for these things. But what about a robot who only has one goal in mind? to be exactly like us. The movie iRobot freaked out a lot of people because if a robot can give this much trouble to Will Smith, what about the rest of us? Amika is iRobot come to life, the world's most advanced humanoid robot. And unlike the other robots made at Engineered Arts, Amika is more than just an information booth that looks like a person. She's the next step in robot evolution. The thing that makes Amika stand out against all the other robots that try to look human is that she has the tools to do it. 17 motors in her face allow her to express herself more than her older counterparts ever could. And the way she uses her hands and arms when she speaks adds an extra layer of humanity. That's because engineered arts drew inspiration from how the human body moves. The built-in cameras that make up Amika's eyes also allow her to process human facial emotion, so if you're happy or sad, she'll know. What happens when the technology advances so far that it blends the line between human and robot? Will they have rights, or will they still be used as the tools we design them for? Hopefully this experiment ends on a better note than Blade Runner, where robots fight back against the humans in a bloody revolution. Only time will tell. Alright, so let's recap. 
You have a robot that you can control as an avatar anywhere in the world. You have a four-legged robot that can roam any terrain. And you have a robot that is as close to humans as we can get right now. It seems like robots are here to stay. But what do you think? Are you for this new robotic future or are you against the rise of the machines? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to Technality so you never miss another episode. See you in the future.